And let's talk about whether or not the conventional approach to cancer is actually effective. Um, have we found that the drugs that are being used for the most common types of cancers are actually working? Are, are rates of cancers going down? So that's a really good question. So the, the, the survival from cancer for most, for most cancer types has barely changed over the last 30 years. So it's basically important, you can divide cancers into three groups, those that are chemo responsive and can be cured by cancer. So there are certain cancers that really respond to chemotherapy and can be cured. You know, for example, testicular cancer, certain lymphomas, certain leukemias actually respond really well to standard chemotherapy. Not to say that adjunctive therapy wouldn't potentiate those agents. And so, for example, probably one of the best examples is chronic myeloid leukemia, which is due to a specific genetic mutation. And there is a specific drug which acts in CML and actually cures the disease. But we're talking about, you know, maybe 5% of cancers. Uh, for many cancers, um, for example, you know, breast, um, melanoma, maybe chemotherapy um, has a marginal effect in prolonging life expectancy, but the cost of that is an enormous toxicity and enormous side effects. And then there is the third group of, dry, uh, of cancers for which chemotherapy doesn't extend lifespan, and all it does is adds to the disease burden, the complications, the toxicity you know, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancer would be an example. So I, you know, not all cancers are the same. And so I think one has to look at the cancer type and the, the treatment. So, you know, I think patients shouldn't just accept what they told. They need to do some research. You know, there's a lot of data out there, some good data, and that they should be equal partners in, in this, therapeutic relationship. It should be a patient-doctor relationship and they should be equal partners and the patients should be involved in the decision-making. I think many patients are intimidated by the physician. They just accept what they say and follow unquestioningly. Mm. And clearly that is not a good um, collaborative relationship. Clearly... Mm the patient and the physician need to be partners in this therapeutic journey. And, you know, as we said, there are alternatives. So, you know, if patients want to get chemotherapy, it certainly doesn't preclude. In fact, they should go on a ketogenic diet and they should concomitantly take some repurposed drugs because we know that they work better together. Now, in many countries where there's less financial incentives, for example, in Germany, in Israel, in fact, if you are hospitalized with cancer, you will get what's called integrative care. They will combine the best of standard care together with these uh, integrative techniques that I've been talking about. And so, you know, their goal is to provide the best outcome for the patient. In the US, the goal is to make as much money as you can, regardless of the patient's outcome.